Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Patalung in the very far south of Thailand. And today, uh, my friend Lindsay, she's from the Year of the Durian, the Durian Rider. She is one of the world experts on durian. And she invited me to go. There's a tree, there's a 300 year old durian tree. That's, the fruit is ripe right now for the season. It's falling off the tree, it's naturally ripe. We're in the, the steamy, hot, tropical jungle of Patalung and we're gonna eat some durian right off the tree from a 300 year old durian tree. We made it to the village to the, the homestay area and we're just driving into the mountain I think a little ways to get to the 300 year old durian tree. Lindsay and her friends are in the truck ahead of us. There is a one mark. That's... Lindsay, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. What is the story of the 300 year old durian tree again? Oh, so this whole area used to be like a communist camp, right? It's one of the ah. last places that there was communists in like the guerrilla warfare, right? Okay. Um, so it's sort of the mountainous area and this is one of the oldest durian trees I've ever heard of, ever yeah. seen. I've been trying to get the actual genealogy on it uh -huh. to make sure it's like really 300 years yeah. old. But like, this may be the oldest durian tree I've ever seen. Awesome. Okay, yeah. watch out the motorbike. <laughs> Wait, and you said there's only 12 durians per... Only 12 durians on the tree. On the tree? It's really old. That, that's for this year. For when this they year. get really, really old, they don't make that many fruits anymore. Ah. So when I got the call, okay. it was like, okay, we're going. So you came So you came here a couple weeks ago, was and here. it wasn't ready. It wasn't ready yet. We looked so up there. So now is the time. Yeah. You looked up there, you saw the durians, they weren't ripe yet. They weren't ripe yet. They said and maybe now... it's going to be like a month, we'll call you. Awesome. And um, I said, okay, if you call me, I'm coming. Awesome. So they called me. So here we are. I'm up there. Get a story. Uh, the durian tree, 300 years old, and it's always, oh, and here's the tree right behind, it's massive, but it's always kind of interesting when something is named 300 years because you don't know when they named it 300 years old, so that could be 50 years old, that could be 50 years ago when they named it, or it could be older than that, so we're not totally sure exactly how old the tree is, and I can smell it in the air. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> ตัวมาบอสปอลแบบว่าจําความได้ก็คือมันไซนี้มาแล้วคือไซนี้เราอ่ะค่ะใช่ค่ะคือแสดงว่าเค้าอ่ะสันนิษฐานว่าน่าจ
you know, more of the history of this place and eat the history of this place is really, really eat awesome. Eat the history of this place. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's, that's, Very why, cool. that's why I drove all the way yes, here when I got the Yes, and thank you for call. inviting us too. Yeah, thank you for coming. Lindsay, how long have you been in Southeast Asia durian hunting? Non-stop since 2012. Yes, and that's when we <laughs> met for the first time, right? 2013. Or 2013? Yeah. You can already tell it's, it's bitter just alcohol. from the aroma. Yeah, it's alcoholic, it's bitter. This one, like, mm, this one was numbing at a point. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be really alcohol. I hope you like that. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh yeah, that aroma is insane. Wow. So in Thai, it's a durian ban. It's a little fruit, and you can see that that crinkly skin on the top, like saran wrap skin on the top. This marbling, I haven't really The marbling, seen that. <laughs> That's also why I wish people would keep their old trees, is because you find such interesting things ah. that you could really use for, you know, all kinds of different horticultural purposes. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking the one that opened was a little stronger. Yeah. Right? This one has that kind of, like, almost a cold smell. Ah. You have that, like it kind of hits the back of your face. Yeah. Yeah, and you're like, whoa. Like, and it's like not, spearmint or something almost. Yeah, exactly, like spearmint. It's <laughs> not really like an onion taste. It's it's more of a sensation, yes. right? I yes. love it. For me, the best durians are when they're not just flavor. It's like a whole like carbonated feeling on your tongue. Yes. It kind of hits like the feel back it. of your nasal yeah. cavity. You yeah. got to feel it. <laughs> and only 12 per, per year. So this is a once in a lifetime durian experience. Oh, yeah, are you of honor today. Are you sure? Yeah, I live for serving people durian. <laughs> Thank you, it's my Lindsay. favorite thing is, is cheering during with people. I usually take the middle because it's the best test, ah. right? Because the durian ripens from the bottom to the top. Wow. So the top part might still be kind of starchy, but the bottom might be too alcoholic. Ah. So if you go for the middle, then you kind of get the, the best that range. That is the middle. Yeah. That is the middle taste. To understand what this durian is really about. Okay. Yeah, that the way it sinks into your fingerprints. You could take fingerprints with this durian. I want to go bottom, actually. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Oh, the flavor keeps on coming. It's very sticky. Right? Yes. It's new. This is a new drop. This is fairly fresh. Oh, wow. So. Wait. I don't think I've ever had a texture like that. It's foamy. Of a tex yeah, it's foamy mm. or something. <laughs> it's so complex. Wow, that is spectacular. It's just its own unique flavor. And the texture, the... That is super... Oh, wow. Super condensed cream. You like it? It's bitter, though. It's not bitter at all. It's not bitter? How is that? It's very good. Huh. It's not sweet, though. It's this bitter, not you? It's very good. I say it's a little bit of bitterness, sweetness, but that foamy nuttiness kind of a nutty a nutty taste to me too wow that's that's 300 years of flavor and developing yeah, complexity like, maybe every piece yeah. is a little this different is like cookie mm -hmm. dough but cookie dough right cookie dough maybe very late last yesterday afternoon cashews mm -hmm. Cashew yeah, sure. Cashew. yeah 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 cashew cream very yeah cashew cream cashew amazing <laughs> amazing Mm. Maybe in 300 oh. years we're going to meet again and have a durian. And the texture is so dry. Yeah, you know? you're right. You're going to keep this. This is like really good shelf life. It is life. dry. Yeah. yeah. It's a little softer, it looks like. It's strong, yeah, Lindsay? Mm -hmm. This is the other one that was already opened. Oh, wow. That aroma, that one is a stronger, more pungent aroma, more, more garlicky, sweet. That fragrance. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I get a bit of alcohol in this one. Fermenty, garlicky. Oh, that is, oh, and the bitterness hits you in the back of your throat. Oh, he's gonna cut some stink beans. <laughs> Bean time. Oh, die, die. Yes. Oh, I need soup, soup, soup. Soup. You guys want to eat some? It's possible to eat in uh, Eat raw, yes. Yes. Two of my favorite trees in the world durian tree 
stink bean tree. I think it's quite young, so I think you could just pull it out. Like it's extra room. Yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, I lost half of it. Okay. okay. No worm. No worm. Does it taste different when they're young versus old? Yeah, yeah. Young is like mild flavor. Actually, sometimes they give you a strong flavor, but very crisp. Very crisp. You know, uh, usually Thais eat it with uh, <laughs> with numprik. Strong. There you go. Garlic. Yes. Oh. I think I like the, the crunch, the crispness of it, the crispness of it, the, they're also called bitter bean, the stink bean durian combination. And they're packed with vitamins too. It's, yeah, it's just ripe from the tree. It's rubber, it's like the texture is totally different. Or like this? Or like this? Or like this? 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 Here, Lindsay, just try the orange part. This is Scared. typically what happens every day. It's amazing, you would really like it. It's sweet. It's, it tastes no like egg fruit. fruit. No Here. Whoa. Wow. Thank you. A new stink bean discovery <laughs> that they have discovered. He picked a really old ripened on the tree stock and it's dark in color. It's turned dark green. My friends have green. told me about this actually. Really? Because I've said, oh, I don't like it. And they're like, oh, you should try the black one. Because I've been looking for the black one. And here it is. Never and had it before. Right. I like it. That's awesome. And then it's orange on the inside, that kind of mm. pulpy. Oh, it is like a totally different fruit. Yeah. It's like egg fruit, yeah. It's starchy. We were just talking with you about it. Yeah. <laughs> like two minutes ago, I was like, do you know where to get egg fruit? Yeah, it tastes it's like kind of stale egg fruit. Oh, and then with a surprise stink bean in the center. You got to <laughs> eat the whole thing. Oh man, that's awesome. That's a totally different texture, totally different sensation. It's rubbery. Yolky, creamy, rubbery, stinky-ish, delicious. It burns. To yeah. Follow, it burns. So many things going on in my mouth right now. From the bitter to the sweet to the durian to the stink beans. And finish that off with a, a juicy mango steam, which they're picking from the tree right next to here. Mmm, all that mango steam right off the tree. We're gonna eat the whole thing. You guys are going through the stink beans. Nice. Breakfast yeah, yeah. Only through the orange part. <laughs> like drinking juice. In the same area as the 300 year old durian tree, there's a trail that leads to a former, and I, I only heard about this from Lindsay, but what is it, Lindsay? Um, a camp? It's a communist camp. So back in the 70s, there was a communist guerrilla war. Ah. So the, the last communist camp was in the 1990s. So we're um, hiking to see the the former camp, yeah, which is right in this area, so we're gonna check it out. But nobody really knows about it. It's kind of it's in the jungle, a, thick in the jungle. It's supposed to be a new tourism destination, so the government just ah. opened it up in like February. Yeah, because it's and really so official at the beginning. There's like it signs official. everywhere. There's yeah, so maybe they did like redevelop the trail. The jungle here is beautiful though. <laughs> yes. The drum tree. The drum tree. There's like a hollow spot, but the stick is just breaking. So if it was like a better stick, you'd be able to like beat on this and like it would echo through the jungle. Echo through the jungle. Oh. A bit of a clearing in the thick of the jungle. Hong Krua. Oh, Tamahan. Oh, like Hong, Hong Krua, come. So, so far we've only seen kind of a, a clearing in the jungle. Of, whoa, just in the remote jungle here. Uh, but I'm not sure if there's any buildings or remains left, but there could be further back, further deeper. Uh. A rock cave open face with vines. It is pretty spectacular. <laughs> this was a bunker underneath this rock, but we didn't see s too many signs of the, the camp, so we might check the other trail. There was a fork in the road. So 
is probably one of the coolest vined trees I've ever seen in my life. Amazing, there's like ropes just coming down from this tree, incredible. So tall. Oh, there's some bats. Okay. Is there anything down there? I think this is where the, the our end point, but I think this whole area is the camp. But this place is really cool though. Yeah, it was well worth hiking back here just for the scenery, the jungle, the the pristine jungle and these caves and rocks. We didn't end up finding too much of the camp. There are some remains and a little clearing, but no no infrastructure really, but the bunkers, the caves and again, this pristine jungle is spectacular. It's really beautiful back here. And good to get some exercise, but my favorite part of the day for sure, that 300 year old tree durian, that was incredible. It was an experience of a durian. So huge thank you to my friend Lindsay from Year of the Durian from Durian Writer. I'll have all her information, all her links in the description box, but go follow her. Her passion, her knowledge for durian is just impressive. It's so cool. And so that's going to be it for this video. I want to say a big thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to Big on Spice. I'm going to be publishing more videos about unique fruits and vegetables, uh, about just eating food that's good for you, food that's big on spice and unique. And thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.